How's it going, everyone? This is Jordan Wilson from Everyday AI. Doing a little bit different AI in five. Most days, we normally show you an AI power software, tool, something to grow your company, grow your career. Instead, now we have some AI hardware. So I'm actually at the NVIDIA GTC conference, and one of the coolest things about NVIDIA and GTC is it brings people from all walks of life some of the most uh, amazing technological breakthroughs ever. And, you know, here's the cool one as well. We have actually AI in this hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. We're going to give you a quick run through of what it is. I hope you all are enjoying this as much as I can. I, I literally feel like Iron Man in here. So let's go ahead, take this off and introduce uh, Chris Kersey, who uh, is, is the inventor of this uh, amazing thing. Chris, tell us a little bit about what we're looking at and how you've used uh, AI in NVIDIA's Jetson to make this thing go. Absolutely, so what I have here is this is NVIDIA's latest Jetson platform. This is the Orin NX 16 megabyte unit, or 16 gigabyte unit, excuse me. And it has uh, basically, it's got two cameras that come into the helmet. Okay. Inside the helmet, there are two displays. These are basically 1440 by 1440 displays. So basically a 2K display system. I run this at 120 hertz and I get about 60 hertz out of the cameras. And uh, then I've integrated an AI assistant as well that goes out to ChatGPT, OpenAI API. And so I can ask it questions, I can talk to it. Uh, and it can even tell me about the environment that I'm in. It can take snapshots and sends those to OpenAI for analysis. And then I get a read back from the assistant that I have spent some time uh, curating and, and getting to sound like an Iron Man assistant in the helmet. Oh, I love this. And aside from it just being like really, really cool, I mean, what future applications do you maybe see uh, for like what you're working on? Like I, like, I guess, is there an end goal for this outside of it just being amazing uh, to, to look at and really fun to use? Well, you know, there are some practical applications beyond just being able to wear a cool helmet. I know a lot of people, I've been contacted by some researchers who are interested in this for, um, for some disabled uh, interaction. So if you have uh, vision issues, but you can see things close up, something like this would work for that. Or even uh, applications like doing a full heads up display inside of like motorcycle helmets or, or cars or, or things like that. Okay, I love it. All right, so we have, uh, we, we did a quick walkthrough powered by the uh, NVIDIA Jetson. So let's maybe have you put this on and, and let's kind of see uh, what it can do and, and test out some of this AI capability. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. This is awesome, by the way. All right, and, and, and Chris, how long did this take you to build? So this was a process that's lasted about three or four years. <laughs> And uh, it's been a lot of software, a lot of tweaking. The AI is a recent addition last year. And uh, after I got that added, it was basically just tweaking it so it feels more natural so that I can talk to it and the responsive time is really good. Uh, and the vision AI processing I've got done in the past like two weeks. That's um, amazing, amazing, constantly updating it. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Yeah, do you wanna try and run some commands here and we can, we can see it? Okay, Friday, is the helmet fully operational? The helmet systems are fully functional and ready for action. All diagnostics are green. Is there a specific function you'd like to check or deploy, boss? Okay, Friday, can you tell me what I'm looking at? This image shows a workspace, likely for recording audio, with a microphone, laptop, water bottle, and a bag of pistachios on the table. There's additional furniture and objects in the background, hinting at a shared office or multi-purpose room. Anything else you need to know? Okay, Friday. Thanks for your help. So that that was an amazing display of how you can combine, uh, you know, some some Nvidia hardware here, tapping into OpenAI system, and you saw in real time, running off a hotspot, by the way, how it was able to to identify different items on the table. Not just that, but also provide some context here, because it even said, 
you know, what's in here appears to be, you know, a spared uh, or, or a shared workspace or a multi-purpose uh, room. So, so Chris, uh, uh, let's let's wrap with this. What is uh, your next uh, big thing that you're working on for for your system here? Let's see what's next up. The next up is I'm actually working on a full armor. And so the, the armory is going to include a lot of wireless components that will talk over Wi-Fi to the helmet. I already have some repulsors that I use for costuming that talk wirelessly that include sound activation and full animation through the, the existing system. So the idea is then to incorporate that into full armor as well and have animations in the suit and make it just feel as realistic as possible, but without all the cumbersome wires and everything that you see in a lot of costumes these days. This this is amazing, our first physical product for our AI and 5. And I'm sure here at Video GTC out, out there on the conference floor, there's gonna be some people that are pretty blown away by this. So Chris, thanks for walking us through uh, your, your project here, amazing. And we'll be back for obviously more content here from NVIDIA GTC. Thanks y'all.